Okay, I am making a video of me doing a diabetic infusion set from Medtronic. It is a little device attached with a cord. I'm sure you've seen other videos if you're on YouTube. Um, this is Medtronic. It's a Mini Med Paradigm 722. Um, I'm making the video not for uh, as an instructional thing or anything. I'm only making it so that my friends and family can see what it is when I say that I am doing an infusion set. An infusion set is how it goes in me. How I make this insulin pump, which is just that, it pumps insulin through the tube and into me slowly. Um, so it, it, it makes it go inside of me. So what is an infusion set? Um, I'm going to do my best to do it as fast as possible. Uh, this is the tubing, the cannula, the steel thing that goes inside of me. Um, the reservoir is right here, which this gets connected to that, and it goes inside of here, filled with fresh insulin. you got to replace it every three days. This is the device that gets it inside of me. I call it the popper. Uh, the insulin and skin tack wipes. So the alternatives to doing this would of course be a needle. I used to do these five to six times every day. I absolutely despise them. I can't stand them. It's just a pain. Uh, then you also have to carry your insulin with you and separate bottles. You gotta worry about it breaking. You gotta worry about it going bad. You gotta worry about this. You gotta worry about that. You gotta worry about carrying needles on you which is really uncomfortable. With this I want to go to Burger King, I count the carbohydrates, I pump it in, done. Easy. And it's not as embarrassing as trying to carry a needle around. You know, waiting room at Burger King with a needle, not so good. Going into the bathroom, even worse. I can do this right at the table, put it in, go. I'll act, actually, and I get my insulin. Okay, so here's step one. Step one, be to remove it. You remove the, the tubing itself, that's the reservoir, and you got to rewind it because it's been pumping for the past three days to make, to push forward so it pumps insulin, so now I have to rewind it, while that's rewinding, I am going to fill up another reservoir. You also have to kind of do it fast because while that's off and not pumping in insulin inside of me, I'm not getting insulin. And an insulin pump, 24 hours a day, is pumping insulin. So if it's not on, I'm not getting my insulin. When you get a needle, you get a massive amount of insulin to cover you from a set period of time. Fast acting and slow acting insulin. Um, some of them work about uh, 24 hours, even less, and some of them are working just for a few hours. The few hour one would cover, of course, as everybody knows, your meal. And the long term would be your just a little bit that you need all the time, because no matter what, we need insulin to survive, even if we're not eating food. So, I fill the reservoir. <clears throat> Got to get the air bubbles out. I like to use a white big pen. I don't know why. I've been on an insulin pump for about two years now. It'll be three years this July. My wife started it. She started talking to me about it. And I wasn't really too into it at the time. I was kind of nervous. I didn't want to do it. I was always on a needle. I was kind of scared. Plus, at the time, it was uh, 5800 bucks, and it wasn't fully covered under insurance. But I started going through, um, I didn't feel my low blood sugars anymore. So I got scared, and I said, I need a way to help give me insulin slowly all the time. So I was, I was willing to give this a shot, and I did, and I don't want to go back to a needle anymore. My daughter... This past summer, got diagnosed with type 1, Marie, and Marie is on needles right now, 
and we're going to be going next month to talk to the doctors about getting her the pump. There's a certain protocol they have to take, so we have to follow their rules and the way they do it and the timelines that they give, so we're doing as they say. I would have started her pump right away, but couldn't. Okay, so that's filled. It's a little safety cap in case if I want to take it off and go swimming and I don't want to get dirt inside and stuff like that. It's winter time. Pool's closed. I'm not going to be swimming anytime soon. I don't really keep them. I used to keep them. I had a whole bunch of them at one point. I don't know why I had them. I don't know why I kept them. I had so many of them. I never threw them away. I got rid of them. You only need one, right? I had some in the car. I had them in... I had them in my cabinet, my medicine cabinet. I had them in the, my sock drawer. They were everywhere. Okay, I like to use this that my tubing came into for the next step. Because where else would I put it? I have to now get the um, insulin through the tubing and right down to the very end so that when it goes inside of me, I will have insulin instantly going in me slowly, just as it should have. I like to hold it low because of, you know, I am trying to get air out and bubbles out, so I don't know if it helps. I don't care. It, this is just what I do. I'm this. Some people are going to watch this and say, oh, no, no, you did this wrong. I do it like this. I always do it. But I'm only doing this for my friends and my family on Facebook. But now I'm YouTube to show my the people that I want to see, so... I know, I might not do it the way you do it, I might not do it the way you were told. You should do it exactly the way you were told, and I used to do exactly how I was told. Now I do it this way. There's, there's nothing wrong with this way. Um, I get my insulin, and everything is fine thus far. Okay, so the insulin is through. Um, next would be to, uh, to put this inside of my little popper. Again, this is what brings... The, the needle, it's called a cannula, inside of me. The cannula is on the inside of a plastic tubing, much like a, uh, a um, an IV, only this doesn't go into uh, a blood vessel. This goes into a, um, a vein. This goes into your skin. So, once you, take, once you put it all in, then you take out the needle part, the steel part, and what's left is the plastic thing inside of you. And I'll show you that in a second. <clears throat> That's the safety on it. I don't know if you can see inside of there. I hope you can. But there's a needle and a plastic piece inside of there. Now what I do, sorry, I have to take my shirt off. Again, it's how I do it. Also, I, I always take a shower right before I do this, and I shave my, my area of skin, because, you know, I want it to be clean and no hair to, to get stuck. Next, I put this stuff, it's skin tag. I put this, it's kind of like alcohol, only it's a little bit sticky. I put this. on the area it's going to go. Right now I'm going to do it right there. It's Now it's starting to get sticky. See that? It's really cool. Then after a while the stickiness goes away. So Next step would be to get my popper, which is all being held in. Okay, so it's inside of me now, and you see that, that blue thing.
So right now is the plastic piece that's inside of me. I hit fixed prime. This will get that little bit of extra insulin that I need inside of me of the 0.5 units. This is how much insulin that was at the end of the cannula that wasn't in me. So as soon as 0.5 gets pushed forward to get that little bit of air out, what will be going inside of me will be insulin, instantly right after that. So, this is the old one. This is, this is exactly what this will look like in three days. A little plastic thing. Can you see it? Let me see if I can keep my phone up against it. Hope you can see it. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it answered any of my family and friends' questions. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.